Let's have a look at those fake Chinese knockoffs of Sony batteries. I got four of those in a pack of lights uh, that I bought on eBay. Three of them turned up fine. The fourth one is dead. It's this one. Uh, when, a, when you plug it in a charger, the charger just shits itself. Um, other three is fine. I uh, also got those big ones. So they didn't come with a package with lighting. But um, put them separately, they seem to be fine as well. Now those are um, NP-F550 slash F570. They're claiming to be 7.4 volts, 2400 milliamps. Those larger ones, uh, they are 8700 milliamps. Um, however, this one doesn't work. It's completely zero volts and it shuts out, shuts out the charger when I plug it in. This one's fine. So I am going to, um, there's no screws obviously, so I am going to crack them open and we'll have a look what's inside. Do they even have protection? Depending on what's inside, I might be, I'm thinking that I'm going to replace them with those two that I have recovered from um, uh, Ryubi battery. Uh, those are genuine Samsung uh, 3.7 volts, 2000 milliamps. So give me a second, I will be right back. All right, so I'm back. I have um, opened it uh, using a Stanley knife, just carefully blading all over. So let's see what is inside. So there are two lithium cells, standard lithium cells. Now it doesn't look like it has protection let's have a look oh they does have protection actually that's good so let's um let's disconnect the batteries all right and one more Ugh, sticky. Now yeah, there we go. So let's have a look at the charging circuitry. Yeah. I've just noticed that the temperature tab in a center here is not even soldered, it's just loose that's connected to this pin. That's probably because it's a knockoff. All right, let's measure those cells. All right, so those are good ones. Let's measure them. Four point oh eight volts. So they almost fully charged. And let now let's measure those. Actually, I can feel the weight difference. The Samsung is a bit heavier than this. Uh, and let's measure this one. 2.448. And this one. 1 1.9 volts. So that would be the dead battery. I reckon that's leaking. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to... I've tried charging them before and they the this pack got really hot. So I'm thinking that this one is the culprit. I think it's it's shorted inside. So I'm going to charge this one separately and see what happens. But right now um I'm gonna re furb this battery. I'm gonna solder those ones. Oh, I'm off short again in place of the old ones and see if it will work. Now, since I'm doing this video at my video desk, unfortunately, there is no soldering station here. So I will be right back when I resolder all this and we will test the battery out again. All right, so I have um, soldered those cells in. Let's, was a bit of a nightmare, but let's measure the voltage and see what happens. All right, let's check the voltage between the cells. 
minus four and plus four. Let's check the voltage on the output now. Positive and negative and 8.15 volts. Perfect. I don't know if you could see the meter, should be right. So it looks like I fixed the cell. Let's see if it all fits together. All right. So that's what's inside those Sony batteries from China. Unfortunately, I don't have any real Sony's to show you. Uh, but yeah, so it looks like battery fix. Now all I have to do is um, put some epoxy resin and glue it back together and I have a working light. Awesome.